it's Sheila and, and Whoa, whoa Hi, Terry's I'm here, coming. I'm here. And it's healthy recipes ser served up on La Vliga, and we're delighted to have you all here. Um, happy Father's Day weekend to come. We thought it'd be fun um, this time around to feature a father and um, his really super duper fantastic recipe of rotisserie turkey breast. So really this is the Walt Show today. I am going to do some salads when he takes out the turkey breast to get it on the rotisserie outside on the grill. And um, so we'll be doing some salads to go with the wonder, wonderful ro roasted turkey breast. Um, so we're, we're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna um, ask you guys what we should serve it up on today. So should we do it up, serve up on Celebrate? Should we serve it up on Vivente, or should we serve it up on Halsa? Those are the questions. Those are the questions. So you let us know, and we're going to get it out and serve it up. Um, you know, the fun thing about grilling is in the summertime. I mean, there's so many things. It's such a social thing, don't you think, you guys? Where um, you know you're standing around the grill, you have friends over or family. Everybody's kind of hanging around, talking, enjoying the smells coming off the grill. And, um, but sometimes we kind of get in a rut. I mean, I think, you know, we tend to think burgers, we tend to think hot dogs. Some, you know, now um, we do, we grill, not, but not for like a backyard barbecue. We won't do a salmon. We won't do, um, you know, let's see, what else do we sometimes do? Well, I mean, we can do um, like a California steak, something that's thick, we can do that. But oftentimes, really, when we have lots of people, we keep it really simple and we do, the hamburgers right. and we do the brats. brats. And so we thought it would be fun to share with you this really good recipe that Walt has um, that really can serve up so many different people. It's so juicy and succulent. It's super easy um, to grill. Right. And, um, and it also then is something different to offer up. So you can still do the burgers, but you can also then do this um, and the leftovers. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that too in terms of the leftovers, all the different meals that you can create. So again, in the summertime, you know, I think a lot of us really look for uh, the ease of summer and not having so much heat in the kitchen. And being able to do it outside because it's so fun to be outside. That's the other thing. Exactly. Now, and this, also the extra meals. Right. Okay. This turkey breast, I think we first did because of Louise Gettleman. Gettleman, exactly. Mm -hmm. And her fat flush diet. Yes, I think I And did. she I did a great book. recipe. And I did... Louise Gettleman. This yes. is the book, actually. Because of, was it your acupuncturist or your massage therapist? Yeah. Somebody was oh, my acupuncturist. Somebody was, right. you know, right. really right. in the health world and That's right. yeah, the turned us on to how you can, you know, kind of get yeah. healthy again. Right. And so, and she does a turkey breast, and these are all really done for doing it in the oven. But what we found is turkey is so good, but it's so easy to get it overcooked and then dry. dry. Ooh, and we have we we at the time had an oven that had a rotisserie in it, yeah, and I started doing did. it that way. And it's so good because the rotisserie, when it keeps moving around the juices, I do it at a really high heat at first, so it sort of chars it and holds everything in, and then I turn the heat way down, and it keeps. Turning and turning and turning for about an hour and a half, even two hours, but it keeps the meat really juicy and wonderful. And then the flavors that Walt, which he's obviously going to share with you in terms of how he actually puts the flavoring together for, um, but it's it's a simple flavor, so you can use it for just carving and serving it up at the time. It's so juicy and moist and But it's really succulent. big on fennel seed. Yes. And so you start with whole fennel seed. We actually use... Um, a, um, a an old coffee grinder we and do, grind it up, we do. We and I I it. do a lot. I mean, I think um, Anne Louise originally said something like, you know, use a tablespoon or two. I do three tablespoons of freshly ground fennel on the outside, and then I mix more fennel with more garlic and lemons on the inside, and it just really makes it so good. Um, and I see, it looks like people are commenting. So yeah, so wanna, Pam wanted to know what the it. book was. And so Cynthia's going to write Perfect. it. It's called The Fat Flesh Cookbook and, um, the, and The Fat Flesh Plan. And Anne Louise Gettleman uh, it showed up backwards on the, oh, of on course the it video. Did. Sorry <laughs> about that. So, um, so Cynthia's going to write it. That's right. <laughs> so, oh, except me. I did oh. it the wrong way today. <laughs> um, oh, well, dessert. I'm upside down, as it were, today. That's it. But, um, so anyway, it's a, it, it has other really good recipes, by the way, Pam, in it. Um, and they're all healthy. They're ones that are very uh, adaptable for people with 
you know, whatever specific needs in terms of um, types of food. They're really, and they're really good for everyone because they're, they're so simple, yeah, so they're, pure. They're very simple. Mm -hmm. Some of them can be improved on taste. I mean, I... I yeah, well, but, that's what we did yeah. and what we'll see today with Walt's um, turkey breast, um, how we've improved on it. But she's very low on carbs, which obviously for a lot of different diets, that's a good thing. High in protein, which is also really good for a lot of diets. So, and um, so the, this is one of those where the turkey breast then can be used in any variety of ways for um, for just plain old turkey breast right. to putting in recipes. And we have a variety of them that I'll share um, uh, that uh, you, know, you can do as well. There's a diabetes friendly turkey and sweet potato hash. And again, you can find all of these on blog.lovelegahome.com. These are recipes that we've adapted from you know Cooking Light or Anne Louise Gettleman or what have you grilled turkey plum sandwiches. You know, the thing is, you really, it makes, uh, we're gonna eat all these this week because we, um, because we wanted to demonstrate, Walt went ahead and did one turkey breast. So we have a sample <laughs> that we made you look at yesterday. This. Is this gorgeous or what? And the, and the really slideshow I put together right. was of his wonderful um, turkey breast that he did. And then we're doing another one today. So we're gonna have lots of meat, which you can of course freeze. Just, you know, we slice it up and freeze it so then we can use it for other things too. So I, thanks to you guys, we are getting very well organized for yes. uh, summer meals and uh, deliciousness. So um, I, you probably need to get the yeah, turkey I think I do. on um, the rolling on the rotisserie. So we're gonna so watch them all. So what I did at this point, I did turn the rotisserie on so it gets really, really hot. So we have a grill with a rotisserie that's really easy to get. Whether your grill has one or not, you just buy the motor at a hardware store. MacGuckin It's a really us. good Father's Day it's present, great. just saying. And then you get this really long hey, skewer. Harris is watching. Oh, great. That's okay. wonderful. Thanks for and, watching. And the skewer also has a, a weight on it, which some people don't really understand what it does. but. When you put the meat on it, typically it's hard to get it really centered. So one side will be high and one will be low. Wherever the, the more weight of the meat is, you put the weight on the opposite side and then it allows it actually to turn very easily in the rotisserie. So cool So it's know. one of those tricks. Who knew that? Not me. So um, for the turkey, I have opened it up and rinsed it and patted it dry and then um, what we do is I have the juice, well I take two, le I, I, this recipe uses lemons on the inside and lemons on the outside. And the recipe that Sheila's going to post calls for five lemons cut up on the inside. But it's these already are, posted by the way you guys, I did it this morning. So you can go to blog.lovelygohome.com and get Walt's recipe. These are really big lemons when I did this two days ago. So I'm actually only going to use three on the inside, but I did use two on the outside. And so I wash all them first. Two of them I zest. So this is the zest from two lemons, which is a lot. I've got the lemon juice, which ends up being just about three ounces, which is great. And then I need the, what do you um, need? the chicken broth that's right there oh, okay. on top. So to the zest, I'm adding three ounces or the juice of two lemons. I'm gonna add... Here comes the broth. Yes, the broth. And I, I have just these, posted um, the website that you said. Thank you. So. So these yeah, great so beakers nice. that unfortunately I can't see anymore, but three ounces <laughs> is right there. <laughs> Us with our glasses, what can I say? And so- We I'm love these beakers though. They're, They're so, so great, great for liquids. So three ounces of chicken Oxo. broth, boom. Mm -hmm. And then I have mint. Is this like um, a marinade that you're going to put on the outside? This is the rub that goes on the outside okay. and then I'll keep putting on as it's, as as it's, it's roasting rotisserie. from time to time. Right, exactly. Right. Okay. And so I need a spoon brush, out of here. Right? Excuse me? With a brush. With exactly. a brush. Are you going to use a brush? I, okay. I will. Okay. And so, so then yes. this is actually six um, garlic cloves mints. We love garlic. Hope you guys I, do and too. I always, so good I believe in, well. in garlic. Yeah. So, um, Definitely yes, dad loves garlic. So we're doing all this and the recipe actually says you do all this and you let, and then here's my three tablespoons of whole fennel seed that I ground. So that makes a lot. And that all you can buy it ground up. It's right. just that it's not as fresh. It's, and it's so just for the benefit hugely of, different. right, the flavor, we highly recommend that you grind it up. It's much more aromatic when you mm -hmm. grind it yourself. So it ends up being this sort of, you know, brown soup.
that will be on the outside. But that's all mixed up. We're going to come back to that in a minute. And then on the inside, because that's the first thing I really do, I again, it calls for two. I'm going to use three garlic cloves that I will... You can see I've the both of us up, uh, adjust our recipes as we go. <laughs> that's right. It just doesn't feel like quite Must enough. be something with the family that we... Uh... So um, I will go ahead and mince the garlic, and I've, I peeled it ahead of time. So it's e easy then just to smash and mince. And the point is that this is a turkey breast and not a whole turkey. So um, that's a turkey breast is so much easier to rotisserie. But it is bone in. It's not a boneless turkey breast. Right. It's, it's the whole. So it has the whole turkey breast. It's a double. You know, both sides of the breast with the bone. But that allows me to and stuff then it. And you find this this time of year while well, you go and you find it in the frozen section right. where the almost, other meats are. Um, well, kind of specialty meats. I mean, right. it's, like this was all the way at the very end, at the very bottom. And they said, oh, we don't have them. But, but, but it's the where said. the cabinets are with the frozen meats, not in the central aisle. So like when, around Christmas time or the holidays, you know how they have all the turkeys and the turkey breasts kind of in those central aisles, very available. And then they kind of disappear and you don't even think about turkey or turkey breasts this time of year, but they're really there. They're with the other frozen meats um, in the, you know, what am I trying to say? The glass fronted right. cabinets. And um, so that's something we kind of discovered and um, and really, thanks to Anne Louise Gettleman, where she was talking about the turkey breast, and was like, "Well, how do we find that?" And so um, I will then. So I have sure. three of the of the lemons that I've washed. I've quartered them, so I cut them once lengthwise, once horizontally. And that's what you're stuffing the. I'm going to add to that mm -hmm. one tablespoon of again freshly more freshly ground fennel. So I've got three tablespoons on the outside, one tablespoon on the inside, and I'm adding more of the garlic. And I just, with and a big three, wooden spoon. right? Three cloves that you did? It, it says two, but I used three. Yeah, we're just being I, honest here. Yeah, he did three. I, I, and I this always do. For an hour? What did you say, an hour and a half? Well, so I do this on high heat. It, I say 10 minutes. It's really 10 to 20 minutes. It's until it gets nice and crispy on the outside. And my grill will be something like 900 degrees when I put Ooh. it on. So it's really hot. So you put it on high. I, high. So I, I have all of the burners going. I've got it closed. So it's really hot when I put and it in. And that's what you've done and right it's now. Sears. So it's exactly. getting ready for right. you to do that. And then, and then you, that and then, sears it and closes up all the right. juices inside, yeah. and then you lower it to really allow and, it time to. And rest. then, and these are all the main grill burners that I have on. And then this grill actually has a back one that's just for the rotisserie. Mm -hmm. So I'll turn all those off. I'll just turn that one on, and it just as it goes around, it sort of mm -hmm. it just adds heat mm -hmm. on one side, mm -hmm. and it drops down closer to like four twenty five rather than nine twenty five. Right. So and then, do you also difference. test to make sure it gets to a certain heat in the middle? So it's poultry, and so. I strongly believe it's 165 degrees. I've got an instant read thermometer. Again, it's OXO. I love them, but they're really accurate. It's really another good. really great Father's Day present. Yes, just saying. and so I, again, you do it in. Day. I think so. Exactly. The kids actually did give it. Yes, and you do it in the thick part of the breast, you know, aiming towards the middle. And how frequently do you test it? I mean, you wait well, for an hour before yeah. you even bother to test it. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not like I mean, something it's, you have it's to It's after the first test. 20 minutes, and probably 30 minutes after that, I just kind of get an idea of where it is. Right. Because once it starts getting higher, the temperature will go up really more quickly, more quickly. at the end, but it takes a while to get there. This, um, the one I did before had, you know, recently defrosted. This has been out. I mean, it's been in the fridge. So it'll probably cook a little faster. But it may go a little faster. Right. It may be closer to room temp. And so um, I need to get, okay. So, and so the other thing that is key, I actually mark my um, rod mm -hmm. with the middle so that when it's in, because the middle of this is not really the whole middle. Down. So that's where I'm going to end up. I really want to end up. Never measure. <laughs> And then um, Warren says, or use a so, garlic press. So, oh, you know what I don't have? Oh, that's a great I, idea, I Warren. Garlic press is a great idea. Yeah, and Don said we made a turkey in the Instant Pot pot last week. Oh, my right. gosh, I bet that was good. I want to do that, too. I, did you do a whole turkey, or did you do a breast? And how big? And Pam you? says Instant Pot is awesome. Awesome. Yes, yeah. It has a different flavor, you know, but the, the, the heat, I'll tell you, for summertime, Instant Pots are great just like slow cookers are because you're not ending up with a big, huge oven. And they do cook over time and they're just as juicy. 
What we like is the grill flavor. So I mean, the wonderful thing is you have choice and choice that's also easy, right? Both of these choices are things that are very doable. And if you're somebody who enjoys hanging out outside, backyard barbecue, you know, it, uh, having the rotisserie is kind of fun. I swear the smell is just unbelievable. Um, but you can also get, you know, you can, for the ease of life to do it, uh, turkey breast in the Instant Pot and be able to have the same kind of meat for a variety of different um, meals is, Sure, heaven, and plus just for a party to have she that said, amount of meat. Is so just awesome. this is I, she said forty eight minutes. Oh, forty eight minutes! Show off! Oh my gosh! Yeah, well, so that. this will take a lot longer. The other thing I found is if when I do this, if I actually skewer some of the um, lemons mm -hmm. before I go back and skewer so the they'll stay in and the juice will keep exactly. coming out of the lemons and going as they heat, oh, they keep oh, juicing it's coming or, out right now. Woo. It's good for your skin, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it's cleaning me up somehow. I got that last time, Mom, so uh -huh. you, that's, why I, that's why I backed up. Oh, good. You're smart. You're smart. So, um, so it's already looking good. And so. it's amazing to think something goes from looking like this to looking like this. Doesn't this just look yummy? I mean, it took every ounce of our restraint um, not to take little pieces off of this because one of our favorite things to do is when it's fresh off of the grill, is to have you know those little pieces as Walt's carving it and there's just those little pieces that just kind of too little to serve up that we oh, have yeah. to taste and see how it tastes that are juicy oh my gosh it's so good so the other so thing good. i do is at the end i've gone through the neck end mm -hmm. of the turkey and then i've added all the the lemons to the skewer most of them and then i'll go and you pierce see that one right here yep that's okay. intentionally there Laura, and then i'll pierce at the right. end Ugh. Say that one more time. Laura Preston says hi. Oh, hi, Laura. And, sa and says, yummy. Yeah. <laughs> Something you'll make after you come back from Italy, right? <laughs> and so then I do, again, a little bit more of this. I'm going to put one of these on the cage that holds it all in. Square this <laughs> up. Cynthia's having way too much fun reading mm -hmm. everyone's comments for us. Uh, no, it's Dawn that I'm having way too much fun with. Uh, I don't know Dawn. Oh, there we go. Well, yes. But I guess she um, may not have a man in her and you do. life. <laughs> but she goes, I need a man cook like you. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, right. Well. <laughs> I think you guys are good cooks too, so you know. All right, I mean, I'm it's sure. kind of nice having him do these grilled okay. things. Okay, so the, in the bottom of my bowl that I had mixed with the garlic and the fennel and the lemon, there's a little bit left over, so I'm going to go ahead and Nothing use that. Nothing waste. And I may stick it under the skin a little bit, or just kind of find some place to put it in and rub it. And then, so this is out of the way. This is out of the way. I Cynthia in that drawer with my dirty hands. I'm gonna move this over here. So he has it when he takes it outside. Oh, see, there's the brush. I think that's also probably OXO, isn't it? I think it is. Isn't that one? We're OXO believers. Um, I think they're well made. designed. So anyway, so I will this this again, if you can see, gets um, some of the garlic and some of the fennel, and then it's lemon juice and um, and it kind of marinates it, honestly. And yeah. Walt will, other than in moments like this, he actually puts it on and lets it sit for about a half hour. So it really literally is marinating, right. tenderizing. And it's actually, uh, honestly, it calls, is a great tenderizer, right? And so... It calls for it to sit for an hour. Oh, to do this hour, hour ahead of time. Me. So, I mean, this is a great thing if you start at about 2 or 3 o'clock. Yeah. Let it sit. Sunday do it at four. is a great time to do it because it's really you perfect. can, you know, so, get it done, go do... We put it on the rotisserie, hang out outside, talk to friends, and you know, and then you've and then, got a great oh, it meal. smells so great. Okay, well, I'm going to go outside with this and put it on. Okay, and I'll I'm be gonna back I'm going to talk for about that. salads while he's out doing that, um, getting it started, and we're going to try really hard to get the the, the wafting of the smells for you uh, <laughs> across the airwaves, so the video waves, so you can. Uh, have a sense, but it really, oh my goodness, I can't tell you all, the neighborhood sort of goes, you're cooking what a you wonderful doing? turkey breast again, aren't you? They walk by just yeah. to smell it. I got just to smell it. 
So um, with the turkey breast, then also thinking about summertime things, I thought it would be fun to do a couple of salads that are super easy to do. Again, they could be, um, you know, for Father's Day or any uh, any time you're having a backyard barbecue or you're going to have this turkey um, because they're easy, they're fresh, um, and they're um, you know they're all about uh, healthy lifestyle eating. And so um, I thought I'd whip together two salads for you. One, the base is sugar snaps, green sugar snaps, and um, you wash them and you just blanch them for three minutes. And the thing about sugar snaps and doing this kind of a salad, um, and I'm sure you guys know about asparagus as well. I mean, you just wanna make sure you don't overcook it. That ruins the salad. Nobody will like it, including you. So the main thing is to do that. And I've already done that, so I'm gonna go to the refrigerator right now and get all the good ingredients. And then the other one is a grilled um, corn uh, salad. So it kind of uh, is the starch. So that uh, is a wonderful one uh, to have. And it just, these look so visually beautiful. That's one of the things to me in the summertime with all the fresh foods we have, to not take advantage of the colors. And, you know, meat tends to be a pretty bland looking thing. So you want to make sure your salads kind of, uh, you know, create the rainbow for you in terms of the delicious flavors and the visual beauty of it all and so um, so we're gonna have one salad again that's gonna have the um, and it's with lime so it's the sugar snaps and lime and slivered red onion so can you already visualize that and some lemon juice and then the other one is this grilled corn and um, cherry tomatoes and I'm putting a little parsley and radish in it you know, radish is so great for us. And again, I mean, it's so visually beautiful, you know, when you slice a radish because it has the red on the outside and the, oops, here I am plopping things around. But it's just so beautiful to put in a salad and it's crunchy. I think when we have different taste sensations, it makes it, uh, you know, just that much more delightful when we eat it. So I'm getting out all the different parts of these different like a radish oh, you, you, would you would you like to taste test a yeah. slice of radish? Yeah, I would love to. Well, taste there it. you go. Here you go. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with the the corn just because we have to cook that a little bit. But really, it's just three minutes, um, and it may take a little longer because I want to brown that corn a little bit. I'm using frozen corn today, so again. Um, these, these are riffs off of Cooking Light um, salads. And I, um, you guys have heard me talk about Cooking Light forever. Um, but I have books that are very well loved and very well worn. And um, the, this complete Cooking Light that where the pages are literally falling out of it um, has so many great um, recipes in myrecipe.com has some of the iterations, not all of them, of these. And, um, the corn recipe uh, is, is kind of based off of this, but then I sort of put every other fresh things that I think would taste good together. So this is kind of my recipe that I'm doing. So it's two cups of corn, and then we're gonna get the, um, of course you have to have a cast iron skillet. I hope you guys already have that. If not, I highly recommend you invest in one because um, the way you can cook things, and it's so super easy to clean, um, I highly recommend it. So we're going to turn this on high and we're going to um, do a little um, olive oil spray. I'm doing a you know, spritzer, pan spritzer thing um, so that it's just a little bit, it just to coat the bottom. We're going to wait till it gets nice and hot um, so that um, the, it will brown the corn. And what are, are you just coming back to, to join in? I, now it's, do you have any updates for us? Well, so we successfully got everything on and no hands are singed. I may be see a little bit of hair, but other than that, not this bad. Good. And um, I have done its initial basting, so everything is covered with the lemon juice and fennel, so that's good. And it's really hot. And I'll leave it on for 10 minutes and then I'll go check and either leave it for another 10 or 5 or we'll all decide at that point. Okay. Well, you'll keep us posted, yes, right? Yes, I will. So it's roasting, so it's going to end up looking like this, um, but it's going to take an hour and a half. So obviously, 
Um, we're going to carve this one up. Through the magic of television. Through the magic of television so that we can show you what it looks like and give you a sense of what it tastes like. Yes. I'm opening this up for a minute because um, we need it for the, um, I think it's on, oh, maybe it's on this page. Um, oops. What are we looking for? We're looking for this um, recipe. So it's the um, snap key recipe. Uh, here it is, right here. Okay, you. Okay. Sugar snap keys with lime yes. and basil dressing. Right. All right. So um, I just wanted, we're going to put Maybe. the, so first we're going to do this though. Um, I, we're doing the corn recipe. So again, it's two cups of this. I love this corn. It's really good because it's, it's, um, and you in the summer, yeah. you can really do the fresh corn. I just happen to be doing frozen corn today because it's just a little early for the fresh, the fresh corn. Carolyn, how about that? So we're going to get this brown. And um, I went ahead and did the dressing for this. And um, so I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to dump the other things in. So basically you have, um, oh, and because it's the launch of our new Live Spoons today, I want to make sure we're showcasing our Live Spoons. Yes. So I'm going to measure out with a half cup. Cynthia, can you hand me a half cup Live and Spoon, pretty please? It's the one back here. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put a half cup of the radish that I've sliced thinly. And if Walter had been around, he would have done it with his mandolin. Man. He doesn't let me do it because somehow I managed to always hurt my fingers when I do it. But I will say, Sheila has taught me that any vegetable cut thin it's tastes all... better. Am I right? No, you are. Right? You I mean, are. It's so good. And it's, you really did it with and celery first. I mean, I you know, really I've always really eaten celery, but not fond of it. But thinly sliced thing. celery uh -huh. as an added item is so good. <laughs> it really tastes different when it's thinly sliced. So, so we I can stir that. that. That would be great. We're trying to get it a little brown on the outside. Yeah, and the yeah, thing yeah. that's wonderful about doing this with um, grilling the corn in the cast iron is the fact that it actually brings the sweetness of the corn out, which is the, you know, kind of the, some of the deliciousness of the salad. And so um, we've got a cup of sliced, and these are actually grape tomatoes. You can do cherry tomatoes, you can do grape, and we're hoping at some point in the summer, we have our, our planted tomato yep. plants out there. Um, we have raised beds this year. We're so excited. This is brand new for us because um, we're in that new house that we've mentioned before. And so we're super excited. But right now we've got, um, so we got a cup of that. We've got a half cup of the radish. Um, this should be a half cup. And you guys are really nice. And if you ask, it's possible, Sheila, when she shows the rotisserie chicken at the end or turkey, yes. she may show you a Ooh. raised bed or something. Yeah, just as long as they don't make people seasick. So this is also a half cup of um, parsley. parsley. Parsley is one of those things I think is underused. We think of it more as a garnish rather than as an element of a salad. And um, it's so, it's actually really delicious, particularly fresh. We have it in our garden. And, um, and, and you can have flat time. leaf and you, or you can have the curly leaf. And um, it's a great accent to any, um, you know, you can even do it in a lettuce salad. It's just, a, it adds another flavor and crunchiness to it. And then, um, so really we're just doing four ingredients, right? We're doing the corn, we're doing the tomato, we're doing the parsley, and we're doing the radish. And then I made a, a red wine vinegar based salad dressing. So it's, um, it's uh, what did I do? I did um, four, a quarter cup of red wine vinegar with four teaspoons of olive oil and then um, an eighth teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt. And again, I find you don't need a whole lot of those um, ingredients to add the flavor. And then I did something fun. I don't know if you guys know about summer savory, but I love mixing up my spices. Um, and summer savory is a, a great um, spice that's anything that has kind of a lemon or a bright, you want a bright mm -hmm. flavor to, um, it's delicious yep. and it's great in eggs too. So I put um, an eighth teaspoon of summer savory in here. All right. And um, I guess I should shake it up one more time. 
And Cynthia is my um, my and taster. The quarter cup. Did you say oil to the four teaspoons? It's the other way around. So, so it's a quarter cup of the red wine vinegar, and just mm -hmm. so right. we reverse things exactly. now. So that's it's a uh -huh. three to one. Is the point? Is what it's that is? It's a four is. to one. It's a quarter cup, which is four tablespoons to four teaspoons, mm -hmm. and so that's three to one. Oh, you say three. It, sorry, he's a math. Yeah. I would say it, 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 to yeah. me, it's nice because it's fours. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Would you like to taste it with yes. the super savory? Okay. So how mm, are we doing? I actually like to get a little brown, so I was. This is good. Yeah. I mean, I think it is. So um, probably another minute, but yeah, we I think sure. we're good. And um, so once once we do that, we're gonna put it in here, and then I like to serve a lot of my salads. I mean, if they're not mayonnaise based, obviously, but. I like serving them at room temperature. I think, again, it's one of those things. I mean, if it's a really hot day and you want it cold because it's refreshing that way, awesome. But in terms of flavors and things, I think the flavors tend to um, be more robust if you have them at room temperature. So both of these salads are, we're just going to leave out until dinner time. Um, to know where the spice and stuff is from that you put in. So the summer savory. Mm -hmm. So I just got it at the grocery store. Um, it, I think it's the, is it spice one or no? It's not spice, spice island or, or um, did I leave it out? Oh, I did leave it out. So it is, it's spice islands. But it could be more um, gourmet. It could be anybody. It could. Uh, summer, it's harder to find, honestly, Pam. So that's why it's kind of fun to have one. And if you have a, a spice um, shop, They'll, they'll certainly um, know and can get this for you. You know, it's kind of one of those things where they crop up, they, they seem to be fairly easily available now, the, um, the spice shops. Okay, so are we ready? I think, I mean, you could do I another minute or you two could, But I think you just, want, you just yeah. want a little brown to bring, again, just uh, it, it's a, another flavor and it's um, an appealing look. And Walt's gonna um, just, Plop it right in there. Okay. Yep. Nice and, and hot. That way it does kind of, you know, m meld in with the others. The heat kind of gets everything cooking together. And um, let me spoon. grab a spoon. Oh, you have a spoon. Thank you. Linda Helkin, um, I guess, just got on and wants to know what we're making. So right now we're doing two salads to go with the rotisserie uh, chicken breast. The turkey, turkey breast. breast I will that say you again. can see right here. Um, Walter's got one. Actually, we put it all together to show how to put it together. But um, of course, with the turkey breast, how do you make it a meal? And since we're always about serving um, healthy meals up on Liga, we thought we'd put together two really fun summer salads. And Did he um, say what pattern they went? We have, uh, we have a question yeah, have now. you guys voted? Could be celebrate. Could be Halsa, that's Cynthia's favorite, or could be the Vente. So the, tell us which one you want us to serve up the meal on today. So I that, know, I know which one I'm voting for. Uh, I know which one I'm voting for. I know. I think you think you got three votes here, so you guys have to help us, <laughs> to, you know, decide. So, um, so we're making a really pretty salad here, and we're now going to pour this dressing that's the red wine vinegar base. Oh, and I forgot to mention that somehow I also like Walter loves garlic. I do. I love. Dijon mustard. Oh, yeah. So I have um, a quarter teaspoon of Dijon mustard in this as well. And Dijon mustard in a vinaigrette salad dressing. Oh my gosh, I don't know. It's just well, so Not good. only makes it good, but it also helps emulsify. Ooh, so it causes the, the, the vinegar and oil everything together, to right? stick together mm -hmm. right to blend better. Okay, so so we've got one salad done and it's super easy, right? We got two cups of corn that we've grilled um, and browned up just a little bit. Um, we've got a cup of uh, sliced tomatoes. We've got a half a cup of thinly sliced radish. We have a half a cup of chopped up parsley. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, what amounts to about a quarter cup of the red wine vinegar uh, based vinaigrette. dressing yeah. vinaigrette. And this is what it looks like. Walter can show you. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. And of course, it's this is um, this is one of our bowls. I don't know if you all know that we have a serving bowl. A so. serving bowl. So doesn't that look pretty in there? Look how... You colorful know, and just right. No, it really is great. Okay, and so and then, that's since design. that's kind of got yellow and red um, going on, then we have this green base salad, which is and the sugar And how much time was since you are... Right and the first thing we're going to do is put together um, what amounts to the dressing. And so this has um, two uh, teaspoons of um, lime juice. And it comes from... We actually section a lime. When was the last time you sectioned 
a line. So I peeled the line and I sectioned it. Um, and it's actually two limes. And then I made them into smaller bites. You could even dice it up even smaller. I did this just so really honestly so you could see it better and it looks so pretty. And so um, we have that and then we have thinly sliced red onion. And um, let's see, I think that's a quarter cup that we're doing of the, um, let me make sure, yeah, the quarter cup. So this is our new quarter cup loop spoon, you guys. We have a quarter cup and a third cup to add to the set. So we now have a six set um, loop spoon set. So it makes cooking super easy because any size you need, we've got now. So there we have that. And um, so we're gonna sprinkle that on the top. We're gonna sprinkle the limes, which is two cut up section limes um, and the sections cut up. And then um, this is basil from our yard. So we're now already harvesting some of the herbs from our, our, our garden. So this is, um, I think this is supposed to be two, is it just two teaspoons of, um, no, four teaspoons. So that's why it's as much as it is um, of, the, um, of our basil. An update on the turkey. Oh, please give us an update. So 10 minutes on the rotisserie on a really, really hot um, grill. So again, it was almost 900 degrees when I put it on. Whoa. It's cooled down a little bit now. It was like 780, so that's mm -hmm. still pretty hot. But after 10 minutes, the skin was nicely bubbly Ooh, and yeah. browning, and it's just it's perfect. So I've turned off all the main grills. I just have the back one for the rotisserie, and I set for 20 minutes, and I'll check it now every 20 to 30 minutes. I'll check it after 20 minutes. It'll have been on for 30. I'll check it again 20 minutes later, and at that point, I'll probably start checking every 10 minutes. Okay. So um, we're gonna do two teaspoons of olive oil as part of the dressing. So we already had two teaspoons of the juice from the limes. And honestly, these were not juicy limes, so I ended up <laughs> uh, using another lime to make the, the juice. So that's one, and this is two. And then um, we're gonna end up with um, honey, which is Yum. fun, because with the citrus, to have the honey, and um, I think you're gonna have to open it up because I got a fresh one. Mm -hmm. So I need two tablespoons and Oh, look at this. So handy that we happen to have a spoon that's that's ready for us right here with two Just tablespoons. Um, so we're going to pour the honey in here. Do you want, we're do you want to use the little spout thing or not? Um, yeah, that's fine. I think you do. Give me a second. Okay. So we're going to do... And I, our honey hardens. And so I thought for this I needed some honey that really poured. We usually put it in the microwave. Do you think that's the high, the, the dryness here? It seems, here it it seems to, to that? change it much more rapidly than when we used to live in Kansas City, I'll tell you that. Okay, so I've got my two tablespoons of honey. We're gonna put that in here, and um, I gotta put a quarter teaspoon of salt. And actually, well, if you wouldn't mind doing that if you're sure. available. So I have to quarter teaspoon right here. Okay. Sarah Paul so wants to us to do a sale on seconds, so we will talk about that. All right. Um, so we have, we certainly have so uh, my sale starting on Thursday for our original lip spoon set. We're getting a 25% off. That's a here. heck of a deal. That's a heck of a deal. So if you're, and free shipping. So I'm just saying you guys, those so, of you that are lucky enough to be listening uh, to the video, you've got the first scoop so you can be ready, this is ready for it. This is a quarter teaspoon, I'm sprinkling it in? Yes, you are, in oh. this please. Okay. So we're, we're gonna, um, actually end up whisking this so because of the honey and the honey and the lime and we've got the basil in here and um, that should I'm just gonna put it right here okay, perfect. and then um, this gets whisked up and then we're gonna pour it over what is the you know again we've got the, the a pound it's a pound and a half of the sugar snaps that I rent you know I cleaned and then um, just uh, steamed for three minutes and then cooled um, because you really have to cool them immediately or else they'll keep cooking. Right. So I put them under um, cold water. And then we have the sliced uh, red onion and that was a quarter cup of that and the two limes um, that we've... Kind of sectioned mm -hmm, and quartered. And quarter. And you can even dice it up more. So if you're, uh, if lime, the puckeriness of that you want to have smaller bites of it. Sometimes in a salad, done. it's really nice to have all the things sort of the same size, which is what you've done here. Mm -hmm. So the limes are similarly sized to the snow peas. Yeah. 
So oh. we're gonna, um, I probably need a fresh spoon to stir this up. Would you mm -hmm. mind? While I get the last bit of. Do you want this kind of spoon? Uh, any, this? Anyway, there's something to stir. I think you want this. Okay. So we have, I'm gonna stir this up and then Walt's gonna show you how gorgeous this is. And this has sort of, you know, this the, the sweet and, and citrusy taste to it because of the honey. honey and this and has the red wine vinegar um, with the summer savory. So this is and a the more savory. Corn. I mean, the, yeah. the charred corn really adds a flavor and it's attractive. I mean, really, it makes it So, and then they visually are so pretty. I mean, I can't wait. Did, did we have a vote? Uh, in I terms of, uh, so no one's voting on Vivente or Elsa or Celebrate. Celebrate. This is your chance because we, we got to decide soon so we but, can serve it up. And I'm yeah. the one who gets them out, so I'm going to make this decision. <laughs> no, oh, oh. I'm the one who gets them out. Um, uh oh, see, you Vivente guys have to help us out here. Oh, how long is the sale? The sale um, yes. for the Lisbon's is um, starts on the 13th and goes through the 17th, so, so through Monday. So, so it's really four days for this week. And it's really celebrating the fact that we've launched, this is our launch week for our new Liv Spoons, the quarter cup and the third cup. And we're really excited about that because the quarter cup maps beautifully with our bariatric set, um, as well as working beautifully for cooking and measuring. As you and, used it here, right? Yeah. And then um, the third cup, for those living with diabetes, um, the great thing is that that's perfect for pastas and for rice. That's the portion that's recommended. Um, for those particular starches. So here's Sheila's. So this is a sugar snap and lime with uh -huh. honey. Um, it's really good. And so fresh um, and delicious. You're gonna now talk about carving, right? So we're while yes. he's doing that, yeah. we're gonna have to decide on which um, plate we're gonna serve it up on this month. So I was taught both by my father and grandfather that the only way to carve a turkey and somewhere. therefore a turkey breast was and I'm move this aside and I'm gonna grab this and I've got my fork I'll hook there. this here so we can use it later. Kill careful. So we're not really alone in the kitchen but I don't think you can see our mess so much. So it's over on the side. <laughs> so the one thing I always do is I will always sharpen a knife before I use it. I just find and we have knives that really effectively can be sharpened. These are shuns. Um, they're oh. from my kids for my either birthday or Father's Day a couple years ago. I love them. They are really fabulous. If you want to invest, that's another great Father's Day present. It is a wonderful uh, knife to use in the kitchen. And it may be also a subtle hint, as someone was saying. Yes. Encourage others in the, to, into the kitchen to help so, them to be part of it. With the breast side up, I was always taught to make a cut down and then to slice off. What I've since learned, and this is really more Martha Stewart, is if you take a whole breast lobe off, so look at where the breast bone is, cut right there. Right in the middle then? Right in, just right off the middle, almost exactly in the middle, but just to one side. And then really kind of pull that off. Ooh, that's looking good. And you've still got some lemons in there. Yeah. So when you take it off like that, you leave all that in there. So when you carve it up, the lemons are still there. I mean, you don't take them out. You well, don't need to, right? Right. Now, typically, we would have done this the same night. I'm not right. sure that I, I should have left them in for two days. I don't think it's a problem, but I'm so not we're sure experimenting. I yeah. would recommend that. Cynthia and I else. volunteered to taste it for you to see That's whether it was a mistake hair. or not. <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons I'm right here. The other reason is because I'm the one that gets And again, the because this is now cool for a day, it's going to be really easy to carve. But by doing that, so before I cut down and I sliced off in this direction, this way you actually take the whole lobe off, and then you can just do these great counter crosswise slices and it's and just... And there's no bone in there, right? Because you carved it off exactly. of the bone. I so took it off the it, center line. Carve it right down. And so it should just be beautiful. It looks beautiful to and me. And so each of these, I mean, I can do really nice thin slices. It's also wonderful just, that way to serve up on a platter so people can serve themselves that and the salads, you know, when you're having a backyard barbecue. You can have, you know, sauces or um, condiments to go with it, like a Dijon mustard or... Um, you know, I, uh, a wasabi, I have a wonderful mayonnaise-based wasabi, um, uh, the mayonnaise, 
wasabi mayonnaise is what we yep. call it. And um, so you can have those kinds of things to add to it. Um, mm. That's delicious. We all love, right? That was it. Mm. Okay, Check so Cynthia so is doing it. a test. Again, because it's been cooled, it's so easy to slice really, it's still really delicious. thinly. I wish it was warm. Yeah. But it's okay, now we're so spoiled with eating it right off the, the, the spigot, as it were, the, the rotisserie. So, um, and it can be baked. So if you don't have a rotisserie, right. you can do this. You can do the same recipe and bake it. And as someone said, I think Pam or Warren, somebody did an instant pot of a turkey breast. You could use these spices um, and do do it in an instant pot. So again, it's about some you know create using the turkey breast. And turkey breast, you know, is actually really good for us because it's a lean meat, um, particularly turkey breast, right? So. Um, you know, and it's got some really great, uh, it's got potassium in it and selenium, things that are really important for us in terms of um, our, our, how our bodies work and protecting us against disease. Um, and tryptophan, and you know, we always joke about that at Thanksgiving. Where what does tryptophan make you do? <laughs> it makes us very sleepy. But honestly, when you think about it, when we have such a challenge in this day and age of sleeping well at night, you know, turkey actually can can be a great resource for that in terms of uh, eating dinner with that and get you nice and relaxed and a little sleepy. Right. So by the time uh, you know bedtime rolls around, you're 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 ready for it. So um, so turkey actually has a variety of different benefits, and it's also literally just a variety. So um, sometimes we get stuck in ruts, and this is nice to be able to have something that's an alternative, that's healthy, that um, is easy to, to do, and can serve many, mm. or many Love meals. It. So, so since I want to, to try, try this out too, I'm gonna do a smaller, let's see. Okay, here I go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It does have a lemony mm -hmm. flavor to it, and the fennel. It's a rich flavor. Right. And the garlic doesn't seem at all strong. I mean, it's really... No, but you do taste the garlic. But it's um, very pleasant. Okay. I so, don't think anybody bothered to vote, so we're just going to All right. I'm saying... Oh, Should we flip a coin, you guys? I'm saying Vivente. I think we actually... Oh, what um, did we say? I think... If you we, had we a served up on Tulsa, you oh. win. <laughs> okay. That's the answer. So we're going to serve up our salads and serve up um, the meat. And we actually have, um, I don't know if you guys weigh your meat or not, but we have a very handy dandy that we've had it for years. I, I like simple. Uh, um, so we can, oops, I guess I should put this on there. So, you know, any, and again, depending on what your uh, plan and program is, this could be anywhere between three, three and six ounces. We'll probably go for a four um, for us. And when it's sliced like this, it actually looks like a lot of meat. That's the nice thing, and rather than a chunk, to slice it up like Walt did, and that's why turkey breast is nice that way, um, it ends up looking like a lot. So we're gonna um, show that right here, right now, because I'm still putting it on, and it's a two, two ounces. ounces right now. And See, look at that, I mean, Three we're gonna think that's four. too much meat. There we go. So that's, four ounces. This is what four ounces looks like, isn't it? I mean, that's a lot of meat. In fact, if you don't even want to eat all that, you know, you can go for three and it'll look like plenty. Yes. So, so again, that's, you know, that's one of the things that I want to do is make sure our food looks plentiful, uh, looks satisfying because it's visually appealing, it smells delicious, and um, then when presented, you see a balanced meal on your plate. So, you know, that, that psychologically is so important to us so we don't feel like we're being deprived or denied. Um, and we can really enjoy, enjoy the deliciousness of the meal. So we're gonna put the meat on, and then we're gonna do- It um, does look like a lot. Doesn't it? And we're, um, we're gonna do a half a cup of the corn mixture because the corn really is the starch, um, but it can be plentiful because again, you've got a lot of tomatoes in there. And so that's gonna go right here. Oh my goodness, it's already looking beautiful. And then, I'm doing a half cup of this, um, but you know, really we could, let's do a three-fourths cup because that's really what we could do for that. Right. Um, see if I can find it. We, we believe in a lot of blue spoons in our household, so <laughs> we have a whole cadre of them over there. 
So then we're going to do this, and oh, it looks so pretty. And there's even more on my side. I know. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Okay. Yum. All right. Show show them oh, what a beautiful. delicious dinner this looks like. And this. Um, then once we do this, we're showing you this, and we're going to take bites, and then we're going to walk outside and show you. Doesn't that look great? The turkey breast rotisserieing outside. Yeah, that really looks beautiful. Isn't that, isn't that yeah. colorful beautiful. and happy making? And even though the the meat is you know a pretty plain white color, by doing these salads, um, you really have this gorgeous looking plate and of course every bite is delicious because they're all delicious so um, so my goal is to take this off very carefully i'm okay, going to keep my face to try this close. and tell them how delicious oh, it is so sure. come back over here sam you get to have a bite and i'm going to have a bite and walt's going to have a bite and then we're going to walk out so i want to try this salad so oh. i'm going to try the corn and do do we just get like one bite or can we try a little bit of everything, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm, oh, so good. I'm gonna have mm. this. I'm gonna just take a finger and eat one of the sugar stamps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mmm, 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 mmm. Doesn't it warm a mother's heart mm. when she hears, oh my god, for something she's just made? <laughs> Especially when the oh my god is um, a vegetable. See what I'm saying? All right. So Here, that, right. Hey, that's, it. Eating, that's okay. it. Okay. I think she's got the plate. Okay, she's uh, okay. like the plate. And when this is what we're eating for dinner, as you guys know, we always, uh, whatever we fix here is what we get for dinner. And of course, we'll have many dinners here coming up. Um, so fortunately, wow. we're going up to the mountains. Yeah, go ahead. So, okay. I'm, I'm, so ready I'm, I'm unplugging. And I'm going to try and be very oh, careful, wow. guys. Isn't it delicious? Sam? And okay, I have to go around here now. do this so that. You're going to look at my face when we walk so that hopefully no one will get seasick as we walk from inside the house, outside, through our porch, down the steps. This is exciting. And then I'm going to um, flip this around. How do I do that? Like that. And there is our grill. Open it up and going around. Look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? So I will bring my thermometer out and see, but my guess is it's still in the 80s or 90s. And it'll be probably another 45 minutes before it gets up to snuff. Sheila Doesn't is on her delicious. way. Oh my gosh, well, that already looks like perfection. Oh, the smell. I think we have neighbors that mm -hmm. are drooling across the way here, but um, it so, really truly does smell delicious. And you put a tray underneath. I wanted to make sure to kind of talk about the grill for a second. Well, I do that. Um, I just I remove my grills and I I have a because otherwise sided, it's just a hassle to clean exactly. up, isn't it? Especially and I, when you've got a marinade going on there. Too. And this is one I really just leave out here. I mean, I clean it, but it's my grill right. cookie sheet. Yeah, I don't think I'd put cookies on it. No, no, no. It, it, it stays, I do get it cleaner, but it's yeah. it's pretty sad. Yeah. And um, so this is what, you know, this is, this is what it looks like while it's cooking. And it's so fun. I mean, you can be standing here talking to friends and, um, you know, uh, hanging out and having an appetizer of some kind and uh, a libation of some kind. We'll be doing mocktails uh, next time. Are we doing mocktails? No, I think we're doing um, doing bariatric, a bariatric friendly meal next time based off of uh, so the bariatric foodie uh, recipes that we have in our e-cookbook. Um, and the next time, I just wanted before we sign here. off to let you know. Here, I'll come. Oh, okay, you're gonna turn it. So here we are, hi. So um, we wanna make sure you know, we thank you for joining us today. And then next month, it'll actually be a, a, a bit of time before we have our next Facebook Live. We did it early this time because um, holiday times, we're gonna be going up to the mountains. Um, and um, the next one is July 23rd at 5.30. And that is a Tuesday, like we always do, the fourth Tuesday of the month. So it's actually at the normal time. And then um, we will be doing um, a bariatric-friendly meal that's tasty for everyone, though. Just because it's bariatric-focused, it's also a healthy, delicious meal for all of us. And um, it'll be from the e-cookbook that we have, the bariatric e-cookbook. So people can Sounds download like that for free um, and uh, be able to follow along.
So we're looking forward to that. So thank you for joining us. We hope that you have a wonderful weekend uh, ahead and some holidays looking forward. Make sure to, to remember that we do have the sale for our Live Spoons, our original set, going on uh, this long weekend. And um, that we do have these new Live Spoons that you can add to your, uh, to complete your set. And, um, and we hope that uh, this inspires you for some more yummy, delicious meals in the summer months ahead. And of course, always served up on the Lubuga. So take care, everyone. Thanks Bye, guys. for joining us. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.